Hi, thanks for joining me today. And in this video, we're going to learn about labs in Gmail. Labs are a feature that allow Google to test out new features on users before they become prime time or full-fledged tools inside Gmail. Now, to turn on labs, all you have to do is go to the top right of your screen and click on the gear icon and choose settings. Labs is a menu across the top. You just click on it and then you'll be taken to this section and you can actually search for labs or you can scroll down and look at some of the labs that are available and there's several that are here some of them are very cool and I use some of them on my regular Gmail account but one that we're going to look at in specific detail today is canned responses now canned responses is an awesome feature it allows you to create a canned response that is the same or common that you can use as a reply or you can compose and send out messages so that you know that you're conveying the same message every time. This is great for parent-teacher conferences if you want to send an automatic reply to parents or it's great for those times when you need to create a message so that you know when you send it out you're sending out and conveying the same consistent message every time. So all you have to do to turn on a feature like canned responses is click the enable button and make sure that when you've done that you click save changes now I've already done this so I don't have to do it again um, and keep in mind with any of these tools that we're looking at these may change or disappear at any time because they are being tested and they are experimental so just keep that in mind once it's saved and turned on I go back to my inbox and to create my first canned response all I have to do is click the compose button now I already happen to have one typed up so I'm going to go ahead and paste it into this message and set a subject line on it and then to save this all I have to do is go down to the bottom right and on the more options button for my message I'll choose canned responses and new canned response and it's going to require that I give it a name and click OK. Now from here I don't have to do anything else all I have to do is click the delete button and discard this draft and then the next time I get an email from a parent or student asking about software issues in this case or if I want to just compose a message and send it out to a new parent or student all I have to do is go to the bottom right of the message hover over canned responses and then under the insert menu choose the message that I want to insert in this email it throws it in there for me and now all I have to do is give it a recipient and I'm done and then I can just hit send and I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to remember the last time I typed a response to that same type of message and making sure that I convey that message the same way. It's already typed. I can use it any time that I want to. Now another way that you can use this is if you want to set up a canned response for parent-teacher conferences. As I said before, sometimes parents might contact you during the day for a parent-teacher conference and you don't have time to respond right away, but you might want them to know that you are aware that they've contacted you. So let's say for instance we go to compose and I'm going to set up a canned response and so now I have my message and it's ready to save so I go down to the bottom click on more options canned responses and then new canned response just as I did before it's already given it a name based on my subject line I click OK and it's ready to go so now when I get a request from a parent say for instance this is a request right here all I have to do is click reply and then go to the more options menu canned responses and then insert my parent conference message and hit send so it's just as easy as that and this is such a time saver you would not believe how much time it's going to save you just by setting up a few canned responses for messages that you send out commonly every day uh, one other thing that you can do is to set up a filter so that as incoming messages come in you can tell it to automatically send out a canned response so to do that you go up to the top right and click on the gear icon and go to settings 
and we're going to go to the filters and blocked addresses menu. Now from here, what we can do is set up a filter like I was saying. And if you don't if you aren't familiar with filters, this allows you to basically create a workflow so that if you get a specific message from a certain person or with a specific subject line, you can automatically have it apply a specific label or in this case, send a canned response. So from here all I do is hit create a new filter. And in this case, I don't know who it's coming from or what the specific subject is, but let's say I want it to say if it has the words parent, teacher, conference, then I want to create a filter with this that sends a canned response and I'm going to choose the response parent conferences. And then I click create filter. Now it just so happens that I have an email already in my inbox with those words in it. So I can check that box and go ahead and have it apply this filter to that conversation right away. And then I click create filter. And so now if I go back to my inbox, if I receive any messages from parents about parent conferences, it will automatically send out an email with that canned response. So that wraps up this session on canned responses and labs. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me and thanks again for joining me.